Hi and good morning, sir. Right now it's four in the morning. Oh, and uh, I'll be presenting lab three. My name, first of all, my name is Wan Iza Afam bin Wan Marzuki Rashidi. Metric number B082010216. I'll be presenting my lab three, which titled Automatic Door System. In this lab, lab assignment, uh, we are, I have to design a system of the uh, automatic door which we move from let's say from left to right and then in this case uh, you use a button and a tool switch in real life we will be using a sensor for as a button and another tool sensor for the switch let's go to the program first and this is the switch that I'm talking about, which is S1, S2. In real life, both of these will act as a sensor. And the button here at pin 6 will also act as a, as a sensor in real life. And then from the door open, this one will open the door. And door close, this one will close the door. Three of these. I state as a uh, zero in the beginning. The steps one, the steps equal to one, which is the step in this uh, case. I'll be using a switch case, by the way. Let's go to the void loop. In this first of first, we put the switch steps in, and then go to the case one. Here we will write a code that we start the program. Button state digital read button S1 state digital read S1. Both of these will read the condition of the button or sensor. And below here, we also read the state of the switch. And then we have if statement here button state one and S1 state one. If both of these is true, then the program will print button is pressed to show that the button is pressed in the system. And then it will write the door open and the door will open and in serial, the, the print serial, serial, in print serial line, door is opening. And this, if the program has been run, we continue to go on the next step, which in this case, steps two, break. If not, else, we use else statement here. If the program is not run, it will return back to the step one instead of step two, which means it will loop in this case on the, as, as, uh, as long as nothing is happened we will go to the next step which is step two then we'll go to the case two here is the program we write for this case two so we will read a s2 state digital read s2 we will read the state of the button if the button is one or true the it will show the reach open limit in the virtual monitor. The door open is low and will show door stop at open limit in the virtual monitor. The door open for three seconds. And then we have delay down here, three uh, for one second, two for one second one and for one second also and then insert this backslash and this one is for it will print a new line a character sometimes called a line feed so the door closing door is closing message will be print below the countdown instead right next to the countdown 
we will see that in the simulation up ahead. And if the statement is true and the program run completely, it will go to the next step. In this case, we will go to the step number three. If not, use else statement again here. It will continue looking inside the step two. You will continue looping this case two until it's done. Then we go to the case three, which is the final step. We will go from S1 state, this one, will, it will read the state of the button, which is S1. If S1 is true or one, it will print door reach close limit in the virtual monitor and it will write door close low. Here, we will see door stop at close limit in the virtual monitor. And then it will, if the program is complete, it will return to the step one. And then we insert break. Else, statement here, if the program is not true, it's not happening, it will continue to loop inside this case tree unless it's done. Then the last one will be break for the else. Let's go to the simulation in the Proteus. Here we have Arduino Uno, and this represents the button that we talk about earlier. And both of this is different from this one because this way we are using a switch button. This one is just a push button. And then here we have the virtual monitor that we talk about. If we run the POG simulation, we can see this the virtual monitor pop here. And the scenario is the door is in the between S1 and S2. So in the beginning, the door must be closed. The door is sit here right next to S1. It's uh, the button when the button is pressed. You can see here in the virtual terminal that will show button is pressed, door is opening. When the door when the door start to open, it will leave S1 to open because the door is traveling right now to the S2 sensor or but or switch. When the door reach the S2 button, the message will pop up in the virtual terminal showing door reach open limit. Door stop at open limit. Door open for three seconds. Three, two, one, which is the countdown. This is what I'm talking about earlier, which I included backslash n for the virtual terminal to print a new line or new feed. And the door is closing, will be down here, that off right next to the countdown. And then when the door is closed, it will leave S2 open and the door will travel until it reach S1. Okay, now the door has already reached the S1 and the switch will be closed. Then it will show door reach close limit, door stop at close limit. If we press the button again, the process will loop, will be continue right again. And it will show button is pressed in the virtual terminal, the door is opening. When the door is open, we will leave S1 open and the door will travel until it reach S2. When it, the door is already reached the S2, it will show door reach open limit, door stop at open limit. And the door open for three seconds. The countdown, three seconds for one second, two seconds for one second, one second for one second. And then we will show door is closing. The door is closed, it will leave S2 open and the door will travel until it will reach S1, which it will close again. After the S the door already reached S1, it will print door reach close limit, door stop at close limit in the virtual terminal. 
right now, let's say case where a blackout happened, where the system lost its power during running. A blackout happened during the door is running when the button is pressed. The door is open. When the door is open, it will travel to the S2. During the door, while the door is traveling, suddenly a blackout happens and the ele electricity is being cut to the system, which means S1 is open. And then blackout happens. Okay, right now the blackout is happened. The system lost its power and the door is stuck at the middle. When the power return, what will happen? If the door is halt in the middle of the walkway, or the system will return the door, or the system will continue making the door travel until it reaches S2. Let's press this button and see what happened. As you can see, nothing is happening. The door is stuck in the middle between S1 and S2. In the V2 terminals also, you can see nothing is happening. How to fix this? Let's just move to the program. And just find what will happen. Okay. This one, then we add here as well, and send it. I think that's all done compiling. Okay, this means that the button state digital read button, it will read for the button only, it will not read the S1. The S1 located and first step. The first when the door is closed. Below here also, the S1, it will not read any state that come from S1 for the system to start because this one is inside the case one. This is the first step, first case when the system is powered on. Let's go to the Simulation back. Okay, let's test the program. The first is S1 is closed. The virtual terminal pop up. When we press the button, the door will leave S1 open and travel until to the S2. When the S2 is closed, the door reach. We show this message. No, it's closing. Okay. The door is closing, it will leave S2 open, the door will travel until S1. When the S door reach S1, the S1 will close. Okay, it will reach here, door stop, it closing. Let's test the breakout event. When the button is pressed, the button is pressed, door is opening. The door is open, it will leave S1 open. The door is right currently in the middle and suddenly a blackout happens. The blackout happens and the power is returned to normal state. The system is already power on. Press the button again. There you have it. Button is pressed. Door is opening. So the door that will not stuck in the middle anymore will continue to travel until it reach S2. When we reach S2, it will close the switch and the stop at open limit, the open for three seconds, the countdown, and then the door will be closed after the countdown is complete. The door is closed, it will leave S2 open and the door will continue to travel until it reach S1. When the door reach S1, the door stop. The door reach close limit, the door stop at close limit. Here I design a simple outer door which I use ultrasonic sensor. Then the board setup, I set the ultrasonic sensor 
the which the, the group pin will be, will be the output and the echo pin will be the input the ultrasonic and this is the void loop for the ultrasonic to function then i use a threshold which i set to be 350 and then this is the first step uh, which i use if distance cm distance threshold the first one will be both of the motor pin will be low and then down here we have distance in cm this distance threshold and distance cm distance threshold minus by minus by 100 and the door will be closed here we have motor pin high motor pin 2 low to close the door which i delay to 100 and with the last one distance cm distance threshold but the minus by 250 the door will be open which the motor pin one will be low the pin number two will be high and i set the delay to five seconds to ensure for safety purpose because also the person will be come into building then the door will be closed again the person come in front of the door enter the building wait for five seconds for the door to be closed again and the door will be closed after five seconds i think that's all for my presentation lab three automatic door system thank you sir